Hi guys, so make some coffee, eat some popcorn. It's gonna be a long video. I drank the Kool-Aid, I'm jumping on that bandwagon. I am in love with Kendall from the Keeping Room. Carol wins on the sample um, giving. She is so giving. She gives you, when you order, this is my bag of sample. I'm gonna show you what everything in here. I just weigh it. It's almost a pound. It it is. Um, let me to be exact. I have my scale right here. Eighteen point nine one ounces. I'm gonna minus that one. Let's minus two ounces for um, the weight of the bag and stuff like that. But yeah, so sixteen ounces, almost a pound of sample. That's crazy. That's crazy, right? Some people, some vendor and samples are very appreciated. There, I don't need like I'm not saying you have to give me samples, but who gives you a pound of sample? Carol does. Carol from keep from candle from the keeping room does. Wow, craziness. Um, she had an opening on the 9th of uh, March. Her opening is very Hunger Games style. It is open for a very short of time, so don't think that you have, you know, two hours or three hours to get onto her website and to order. No, 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 no. Um, join her Facebook group, you know, make your list ready. I'm telling you this because on the 29th of March, that's Friday, Friday, the last Friday of March, 29th, she's going to have another opening. And it's only going to be for those who didn't get a chance to order from the previous opening. So I won't be partaking in this, but I'm wanting to let everyone know, make your list. She has, you know, go on her website. So I pull up her website here for you to see. So go onto her website and then you can click right there. And then you can go, let me see where it is. Right here that it says Tart, get in there. And then she's going to have a all these lists so you can go into all things bakery and then see what she has um, that's available and make your list get your list ready because you're gonna want to know where everything is because when her website when she says that her website is open on her Facebook page or her Facebook group uh, you're gonna want to get in on there you're gonna want to you're gonna want to because everything happens so fast when I I live in Hawaii, so the time different is crazy. I think it's like six hours different. So last time she had it at 10 o'clock and that was five, five, no, four or five o'clock Hawaii standard time. Yeah, four o'clock in the morning, I'm talking about. I set my alarm at three. I don't sleep that much anyway. I set my alarm at three o'clock. <clears throat> I woke up, I got ready. I got my credit card ready. She does PayPal, but you can, I heard someone, because I was asking um, on her group, you can do, you can check out as uh, a guest on PayPal. She also does money order. So that's pretty good as well. Um, but you're gonna wanna get everything situated, like your address, your you know, credit card information, everything ready. But you do not wanna be on her site the day before because she needs everyone to be off the site so she can load stuff. She you, you sh cannot be on the site before she open up the the, the website to get to go live, you know, the sale to go live. So you want to log off every, all the um, windows. You want to be off her site completely because or not or else you can't order. And another thing is she does this. I heard before that she says. Like you can order every single time, but this time because it's such a close opening that she has, so she she's asking that everyone who participate last time not participate this time, so that way you know a lot more people can share. Um, and I think that's great. She's gonna have another opening soon anyway, or if not soon, don't don't take my word on it. If not soon, she's gonna open again. That's what I'm trying to say is let other have a chance too, and. Everyone was so fast. I kept on getting these error, um, error 500. I don't know if anyone, anyone who ordered had that. 
I did it on my phone, so I was like, oh my god, it was so frustrating. But she said, don't refresh the site. Just go back until you get... And every single time I add more stuff, it would just go error. Um, you can only add two cents, like two bags per cent. You have a limit of two bags because, you know, she wants everyone to have a chance to get in on it. And once she has an hour, she says she has an hour card hold. So you have, once it's in your card, it's in your card. Like no one else can take it. So you can, but then again, once it's in someone else's card, yeah, you can't do anything about it. And once she closed the website, like she's going to take away the add to card um, button, but you still can check out. You still can check out. Don't get frustrated. Don't have, you know, fum fumbly fingers. I call it when I get all anxious and excited that I get these fr fumbly fr fingers. Like I'll press anything and I'll forget to like um, press things that are, you know, the word I get mixed up and stuff like that. So just calm yourself. Just have a cup of tea and calm yourself and have fun. Have fun with ordering. I went in hard like i i didn't get everything that i wanted um but i got most of the things that i i want um she is well she's known for her strawberry so i only got two of the strawberry but i can't wait until the next time that i can order not this opening but the future opening so let's get into what i got shall we um so because she is celebrating her um I want to say it's 20 years is it 20 years since she been open that she gave like it's her anniversary for you know being open for so long she made a gift for everyone and it's this one right here this was my one of my gift or my sample it's an ice cream scoop like it's an actual size of an ice cream it's the size of my palm you know so this one I got in um, Sparkling Raspberry Cuttable. It's... <clears throat> I rebag all of mine. So Carol actually will bag your stuff like this. It comes like this. Um, it just have CFTKR, so candle from the keeping room, the name of the scent, and it's in these little bags. Um, it is double bag, so there's another bag inside this bag, and then with these string to tie. I just remove them, and I put them in my. You know how I am. If you bit, I put them in my my um, BB bag, polypropylene bag. I do like labels. I do like to put a date on there. Her wax is pure paraffin wax, so you do not need to cure it. That's what a lot of people say. And it is a hard wax. So I don't even know how I'm going to cut this because it, it, it's hard. I'm probably going to have to put this. I'm going to have to microwave this. Mm. This one. It, this one is like 2.8 ounces. So this is kind of a lot. So I'm going to have to cut this. But you know how I don't like raspberry or berry or fizzy. But this smells so good. That I have it. And look, look how cute and big this is it's ridiculous like i said thank you carol yeah she um she's always posting on her group every morning her morning post she'll write something about her day and then she also have a little note business note and that's when you know when she's opening what she's going to be offering as samples and stuff like that um for the sample i did not get description because I ran out of little paper, so I'm like, I'm gonna write it later, but yeah, I'm sorry guys, I, didn't, I don't have description. So this is pumpkin oud, so I'm thinking it's pumpkin and um, oud wood, so it's like a woody pumpkin scent, and oh, that's good. It It's very fall, very warm, very spicy, has cinnamon in there and pumpkin. Also got apple ale, so apple and ginger ale kind of not ginger ale but apple and fizzy kind of deal i think yeah it smells like um apple cider it, like my favorite scent from scentsy which is 
cider mill or um, apple pumpkin from um, Yankee. So that's a pre olivo. Pre olivo. Very fresh and water, ozone, sea, like, oh, this is good. And her shapes vary from hearts to um, pumpkin to strawberry to shell to bunnies, all kind of different shapes. Pure paradise. And I'm telling you, these are all just all my samples that I got. Oh, another fresh one. Oh, that's so good. I got a... She kind of look at what you order and then she kind of give you sample in that kind of like family, kind of sort of like variety, the fresh, because most of my samples are all fresh, freshy and oat and earthy kind of scent. Earthen oats. Mm. Look at this. How cute is that? That's a bunny. Oh yeah, a lot of moss, patchouli, um, cedar wood, oat, very earthy, hence the name earthen oat. I also got my funny little lemon thyme. Love lemon. So, I think I'm gonna... Oh, that's... It has a sweetness to it. It has a... It's almost like hello sugar. It has like that shortbread, sugary kind of deal. Oh, that's... Yeah, I'm gonna need more of this as well. Um, beach linen. So, probably a laundry scent. Mm-hmm. It's laundry. It's fresh laundry. It's like cotton. Clean cotton. But a little bit more... Less sharp. You can smell that. Like you're at the beach kind of deal. Oh, that's so good too. I want more of that. These. Um, Mediterranean fig. Hmm. It's also fresh, but it has a green note to it. It's, it's so good. It's still good. It's good. Yeah, uh, mulled, le mulled melon. So is that like a wine kind of deal or? I, I get the lemon, I mean, there's no lemon in here. I get the melon, but there's a citrus set in here as well. It's nice. It's also kind of masculine cologne, perfumey. That's also very nice actually. Like I said, I didn't even get into my what I ordered yet. I'm still on my sample. Shampoo Aveda. So it's a shampoo kind of scent. I don't care for this too much. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know. The more I smell it, the more it's growing on me. I don't know. I might like it. On first sniff, like the first sniff, I didn't care for it. But the more I smell it... Uh, magic in the air. So probably a fresh, airy, ozone-y type. Oh, it's sweet. And it's good. Wow. I really like it. There is still more. It's like Mary Poppins bags. It's never ending. Um, black Amber and Lavender. I wanted to get this, uh, but I don't. I think I. Everyone was so fast. Everyone was crazy quick with their list, so I think I missed out on this one. Cause you know how I love black amber and lavender. This is an herbal lavender, with the sweetness of the black amber. The amber gives it its sweetness, but the lavender in here is an herbal lavender, and I like that. I also got Merry Mint, so probably mint with like a Christmassy kind of mint. 
Mm -hmm. It's a pine. So the Mary would be like the pine tree, like a Merry Christmas tree kind of with mint. Not bad. See, and her blends are so crazy good that things that I know I don't like from other vendor, I'm kind of like, I'm liking it. Almost done. Tonka and uh, vetiver. Oh, it's cologne, sexy man. Oh, that Tonka bean, that vetiver is, yeah. There's bergamot in here too, I'm pretty sure. So good. It's a sexy man cologne. Got out of the shower. Put some on cologne on kind of deal. Um, coconut milk and lavender. And this one is like different shapes in here. There's little roses, a heart, and a big rose. The coconut milk is strong in here. I get the lavender and I get the coconut milk, but the coconut milk is strong. It's, um, this one is okay. Yeah, because I'm not a big fan of coconut. So, I pretty much like all of my sample except for, of course, well, I'm not a big fan of the raspberry, but I'm just, but I'm still thankful for it. I'm still glad that I got it. Um, thank you so much, you know. Um, I get like, I think I have enough milk for like a whole week before I even have to dip into what I order because that's how much she gives. Yeah. So that is all my sample. And then this is the one that I wanted to open this so you can see like how I rebag my stuff. So this is orange vanilla coffee. I tried to look up the description for this, but I couldn't find it. So I'm thinking probably what the name says. It's gonna be orange, it's gonna have vanilla and coffee scent. So yeah. Let me show you one of the little thing. It has little coffee beans. Can you see that on there? How stinking cute is that? The orange is strong. I get the coffee note and the vanilla is just like a blender to blend everything together. Oh my gosh. And you know how I am looking for coffee scent. So this is a good wake me up kind of orange coffee. You know how coffee has that creaminess? This one has more of a citrus brightness to it. And in it goes. So yeah, so this is just how I rebag it. And then the label, I got two sides so that way you know, you can see it in both sides. And this is going into my coffee bin. Love that. Okay, 19 minute in, and I've only been in, got into one of my stuff, so gotta move faster. Um, I got I got two of her strawberry blends. She is so known for her fresh picked strawberry, but couldn't get to it in time. It was gone, so I was like, okay, let me just get strawberry, whatever strawberry that's left, and. Like I said, I told you, fumbly fingers. So I got strawberry dew, which is a lemon, lime, fizzy pop, and sweet strawberry. You know I don't like fizzy pop scent. So why did I... Fumbly fingers. Because you get so excited and you get like all nervous and you just be putting things in that you... It's like, um, like a soda. Like a strawberry soda. You know, like we have this... There's... It's in the can, strawberry soda, or even the Fanta strawberry soda. It's good. I mean, not a big fan of it, but um, I like it. And that's how, yeah. So that's one of my strawberries. And then I also got strawberry parfait, which is a cross between strawberry cream savers and strawberry cobbler. Most of her description are like healing, like a whole sentence of, or a whole couple sentence of walk in the woods. And I just went straight for the notes, you know, like what's in there. So let me see. 
it's a sweet strawberry and cream. It's good. I actually really, I like this more than I like the other one, but yeah. Oh, her strawberry is a good strawberry. It doesn't have that tart that, um, I'm, I'm more of a sweet person than that tart kind of berry notes, if you know what I mean. The other vendor would have that tart sour berry note to the strawberry or to the berry that I don't care for too much. So, yes, love. I think I like this better than the other one. I also got three lemon scented things. I got uh, Sorrel and Lemon, a uh, Joe Malone type, which is a uh, lemon zest, bitter orange, Pettigrain, Sorrel Lemon, Thyme, Rosemary, Geranium, Moss. <clears throat> and it's a sun, because, yeah. Hmm. This one is a strong, that bitter orange. I smell that bitter orange and that thyme and that rosemary and that moss. It's a green, kind of earthy, kind of lemon. I know Joe Malone type is like a what is that? Um, a cologne or perfume from uh, Joe Malone. So I've never had that one. So that's interesting. That's an interesting lemon. Meyer lemon Yankee type designer type bright sunny citrus sweet and refreshing scent. This is more lemony and sweeter than that other lemon. The other lemon is more earth, earthy, but not too sweet though. I still get more lemon, very citrus, very sharp citrus, not like a um, sugar, not like a uh, lemon sugar. And it and it's strong. And then I also got Lemon Clean, which is fresh dove, clean lemon, refreshing and strong. So none of the lemon I got are like a bakery lemon. They're more clean lemon. And they're all very different. This one has more of a fizzy scent to it, if you if you will. And it's, it's good, yeah. Hmm. I might even mix it, add a little sugar to it and see how um, like blue sugar or pink sugar from other vendor and see if it can sweeten up the lemon feel. So those are my lemon. I got a few masculine like wood seed type of deal. So I picked up a tobacco and bay leaf. So it's bay leaf, fir needle, cedar wood and bergamot. I didn't know there was fir needle in like um, tobacco scented stuff so I was kind of afraid when I, I read it I was like ooh fur needle but you don't get the fur needle you mainly get the tobacco and the cedar wood and the bergamot it's it's nice it's how to describe this it's like a woodsy like your grandpa kind of chair you know those armchair kind of deal it has that must there's no must in here but the cedar wood gives it that very manly scent oh, it's good I like that yeah and I also got um suede and lace so it's suede woody earthy leather white musk so something similar to like that. Mm -hmm. it, this one has leather and the other one has tobacco. So it's like your grandpa's office, you know, like his old office, um, his library, should I say. Oh, that's good. I like my masculine scent. I like those... Um, earthy patchouli kind of scent so that's right up my alley 
lately when I'm ordering from new to me vendor I don't order things like berry anymore because now I know I don't like berries so I should stay away from berry but those two strawberry I, I'm glad I picked it up I also got amber and oud which is decadent wood oriental notes golden amber so I believe this is gonna be a sweeter kind of wood because of the amber actually the oriental notes in here it's a little bit spicy and more woods more woody too oh that's also very good very incense too like very incense -y type too so i like that I also got caramel pipe tobacco, tobacco leaves, creamy caramel, vanilla sugar, patchouli, bergamot, warm spices, and musk. So this one is the sweet one. This one has that vanilla, creamy caramel and the vanilla sugar to sweeten everything else out. Even though it has patchouli and it has warm spice, it has musk, tobacco, and bergamot. But the, the sugar, the vanilla sugar and the caramel, the creamy caramel, it's really nice. I really like this. Oh, I wish I had picked up more of this. Like I said, with even the other more woodsy smell, I probably just add like vanilla or some sort of lemon sugar or something to just, you know, sweeten it out. Oh, that is so good. And I also got a blood orange patchouli which is citrus green strawberry pineapple woody earthy musk oh there's pineapple in here which is interesting and strawberry too hmm. i get the patchouli the patchouli is strong in here the earthy musk and yeah that wood and then the citrus at the very end I don't and I smell the green but I don't smell any strawberry or pineapple it's an interesting blend and then I also grab um, a few of the lavender actually so I got cedar leaf and lavender, which is French lavender, tender greens, woody facets. It's a nest candle type. So. It's a very green, very lavender. I get a lot of lavender in here, actually. It's not sweet any mean. It's, it's a fresh, it's kind of fresh too. Hmm. Like that. Also got lavender chamomile. You know I like chamomile and lavender from other vendors, so I was like, let me try her um let me try a candle from the keeping room, lavender chamomile. Lemon chamomile lavender. Camellia leaf, rose petals, cedar wood, and musk. This one is kind of light. It's a kind. It, it almost has a a floral, powdery kind of scent to it too. Maybe from that rose petal. But it's still, it's nice. It's not a very strong rose offense. It's very light and very girly powder room kind of deal. You know how like um, tobacco would be your grandpa's room? Or well, this could be like your grandma's like boudoir or like her her makeup room or her, um, where, her station where she get her vanity room kind of deal. Yeah, it has that powdery scent to it. Lavender mint which is herbal, earthy, lavender, peppermint, and spearmint. Mm -hmm. Mainly I get the mint. Oh, that mint and then the 
that note of lavender at the end. Oh. That's pretty good. Um, lavender and white wood. Lavender, cashmere, white wood, white pepper, orange bitter, clary oil, eucalyptus, spice, and musk. So it has eucalyptus in there, so it's probably going to be a little bit minty too. It's not as minty. Mainly get the lavender. It's soft though. It's not a harsh like lavender, like the lavender mint. It's nice. It's very soft and very feminine. Lavender sandalwood. Lavender, um, herbaceous or aromatic sweet lavender, golden amber, moss, sandalwood, cedar, and patchouli. So I'm thinking this is going to be a cedar lavender. Mm hmm But the patchouli, is, it makes it very um, earthy and woodsy too. The lavender is a sweeter lavender. But you also get that strong sandalwood, cedar, and patchouli. Oh, all these lavenders making me feel so relaxing and serene. Uh, the last lavender I got is Clementine Lavender. So there's no, I couldn't find a description online. So I'm thinking it's going to be citrus and lavender because clementine is a type of citrus. It's almost like an orange, like a baby orange. I don't get lavender. I don't. I can't smell the lavender. I guess because that citrus is so strong. But it's a very. It's not a very strong, like punch you in your face scent. It's good. And then a couple of um, other things I got are Bonfire Bliss, which is um, pine, cedar, amber, smoky sandalwood, heliotrope, musk, roasted marshmallow, brown sugar, coconut, vanilla. So it's like toasted marshmallow or um, marshmallow fireside kind of deal. Yeah, in that sense, it's, it's stronger than all the other. That wood is stronger, the sandalwood in there. I get that hint of coconut in the background. It's a nice one. I tend to pick up um, one of this with every vendor because I like to mix, um, blend, to sweeten things up with Bonfire Bliss or marsh Toasted Marshmallow. So these are like my blender and I kind of just want to see each places like how they're different. Hers is strong. I also got a uh, sea salt and orchid floral ozonic sea salt. So it's like salty sea air kind of deal. Less sweet, more fresh. This is good. Oh, this is very good. I get the floral in here. Oh. My mom would love this. Oh my gosh. That is good. Yeah. I also got Alpine suede type. Alpine air, smooth suede, mandarin, bergamot, black pepper, cardamom, vetiver, birch, teak wood. That's a mouthful, but yeah. That's me condensing what. Carol wrote as her description. Just a fresh, freshy, fresh scent. Light, fresh, and borderline cologne. -y. Yeah. It's good.
I also got a shave and a haircut. Um, I tried to get barbershop, but I couldn't get it in on time. But now I know I prefer a barbershop over shaving a haircut with other vendor. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna look in the D -tash, D stash um, group and see if anyone's gonna D stash any barbershop or anything like that or wait until next time. But shaving a haircut, masculine, clean, sharp, barbershop aroma, sweet aftershave, spices, and orange zest. Because she also had barbershop pole and barbershop 1920s. Yeah, it's a very sharp, it doesn't have any sweetness in here actually, of shaving a haircut. I like it. You see like how I, I didn't go for any bakery because I'm like, no, it's not really my thing right now. So then I also got family fingers, Um, got two apple bath and thank goodness it's apple bath and not any other scent that i'm like ooh. and good thing i only got two because if you put more than two you won't be able to pick up the scent because her limit is two so it's fresh citrus and lemongrass and yeah you guys know how much i love apple bath I love apple bath and i like her that lemongrass is strong So I think I'm good on Apple Bath for a while with any vendor actually. Yeah. Because I got two and I got other vendors Apple Bath as well. I also got pink sugar and blue sugar is my favorite. When they're blended together, they're bomb. Bomb.com. Like they're awesome sauce. So I got a pink and blue, which is basically pink sugar and blue sugar. Um, when I was rebagging this, and I smelt it. I was like, why wasn't I fumbly fingers on these? Like, why didn't I get two of this? It's okay. Oh, it's sweet, cologne-y, perfume-y. It's so good. Oh, it is so good. Yeah. But it's okay. I like it. I wish I had more but then I have I also got so in a way I do have more but this is a different it's Noelle's of pink and pink sugar blue sugar with vanilla bean Noel so that vanilla bean Noel is gonna make it sweeter and a little bit different very similar mm, less masculine more creamy because of that vanilla bean Noel but still has that pink and blue sugar sweetness to it so that is everything that I got from Candle from the Keeping Room. I told you it was a long video and I'm so sorry, but I wanted to give you all the information before you need to order, if you're going to do an order for the next um, restock. Did you guys get in anything from the March 9th restock? Let me know. And if there's any blend that you think I should try, once again, do not like fruity, but I might, I might, the next time I could order, get some strawberry, more of the fresh picked strawberry. So if you're new to my channel, thank, um, consider subscribing, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload a video. And yeah, so I jumped on the bet wagon hard time. Yeah, big time. So I am now, I know why everyone loves Carol's and Candle from the Keeping Rooms, you know, wax. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.